How's it going boys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're actually gonna be talking about something kind of different not about the actual game itself but about dota buff why because besides the fact that tinker needs a buff which i totally agree we're going to be looking at the three different skill brackets normal skill high skill and very high skill and what they actually mean okay so if we go over to my dota buff here um just don't mind anything because i have not i turned my dota buff off so if you didn't know you can actually make your Dota buff private, and that is due to uh, min multiple factors. Because one, if you turn your Dota buff to private, you can they can't people cannot see your stats, so they can't see when your last hero was played. So I actually played more matches between now and the last eight days, but it just does not show up. Also, there's some programs in the game that allows you to see the enemy, like what they're picking, like what they always pick. So let's say if I pick like 10 alchemists like 10 times in a row before the game, there's a there's a plugin you can get called Dota Plus on Overwolf. A lot of people ask me this. That's where you get it, Overwolf. It's like a Dota 2 plugin, all right? Just search up Overwolf and you'll probably find it. I might link in the description below. below. If I forget, it's uh, oof. But anyways... So I disabled my account so you can't see my recent matches. But as you can see, all my recent matches were considered very high skill. So that's what I'm talking about. The very high skill part is the thing under here. So if I click into this game, and yeah, don't mind me feeding. My whole team was feeding here. But um, when you look at this game, right, uh, where does it say very high skill? Yeah, right here. So very high skill, skill bracket, lobby type, ranked, blah, 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 blah. So the most important thing you have to understand understand about very high skill is that the average MMR, not your MMR, all right? They don't count. It does not matter what your MMR is. So let's say if you're divine and you party queue with a, well, actually, before I explain that part, I need to tell you what MMR you actually need, right? So very high skill is anywhere that is above 3.7 to 3.8K. No one knows the exact numbers, but right now I was Divine 4, so I used to be Immortal, Jesus Christ, I dropped. But the thing about normal skill is that if you look into some of my older matches, right, like before I got to Divine, because I did climb a little bit. Let's look at like these matches right here, 2019 or something. Can I click on it? Damn it. Uh, let's just go to the last one unknown skill so unknown skill will appear if your game is a lot of people have like private profiles or stuff like that or they're unranked so it just cannot calculate for the skill bracket but as you can see this one's normal skill because this one i was still in legend or something like that so what you need to understand about this or even lower actually what you need to understand about these games is that your average MMR is below 3.6k. So yeah, this was when I was in Guardian. Yeah, I know I was in Guardian at one point. Okay, chill. So, um, this guy's Guardian. That was probably when I was in Guardian as well. That's why I played Night Soccer mid. Anyways, if your average MMR is below 3.6k, which is 3.6k is about Legend, Legend 5-ish, Legend 4-5. So if you're below legend 4 or 5, you're going to be in the normal skill bracket, boys. It does not matter if you're Herald 1. It does not matter if you're Guardian, Crusader. As long as you're below legend 4 or 5, all right? Or somewhere around there, 3.6k MMR, you're going to be in the normal skill bracket. If you get above 3.2k uh, MMR, wait, no. It's 3.2k MMR for normal. My bad. Excuse me. So if you're below legend 2 or 3, with a uh, 3.2k MMR, you're going to be below the nor uh, normal skill bracket. So you're going to be normal skill bracket for everything. 3.2k MMR. And between 3.2k MMR and 3.6k MMR is going to be the high skill bracket. So as you can tell, like the very high skill bracket has a huge range, right? Like everything above 3.7 to 3.8 is high skill, very high skill. Everything between normal skill, everything for normal skill is um, 3.2k and lower. And anything in between is high skill. So high skill has the lowest range.
But funny enough, that's like probably where the most of the Dota players fall in the high school bracket, because most players who play for a long time will generally fall into the 3.2k to 3.6k, 3.7k range. So that's generally where you're like good, but you're not good, good, right? So that's what high skill is. So um, now getting back to what I was talking about earlier. So if you want to achieve this, let's say if I was uh, Divine 5 with like 4k MMR, or no, 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 no. Let's, that's like ancient or some shit. But let's say I was, I was like 5k MMR, okay? I was 5k MMR. Now, for me, it should be saying very high skill, right? Every single time. What? Well, yeah, every single time. But let's say the only reason why I wouldn't say uh, very high skill is like, I normally play solo queue, so you won't have a problem. But let's say if I'm playing party queue and I'm party queue with two friends who are like crusaders or archons. So they're like three, 2,000 something MMR below me or 3,000 MMR below me. I'm pretty sure Dota has a cap on how big the MMR difference has to be. So can be. So let's say if I'm 5K and playing with like a 2K, I might not be able to queue with him. If I'm like 6K MMR and the guy's 2K MMR, I 100% cannot queue with the guy. So I'm not sure what the range is. It's probably like somewhere between 2,000 to 3,000, somewhere there. But generally... I actually tried to queue with a friend before who was like uh, Archon or something like that. And then I was like to mine something and I could not queue with him because the MMR difference is too big, right? But let's say it's like not too big to not queue with, but they're pretty low. Like they're like 2000 plus MMR below you. And by then, that means you're going to have other like Crusaders and Archons and enemy team as well, right? But with like a Divine. So in this case, maybe this game that you're playing everyone's mmr is low you're the only one that's high so if you average it out if you average all the mmr up and divide it by 10 that's gonna be your average mmr for the game right like let's say 5k 2k everything added up divided by 10 if that number is below 3.2k you're gonna be in normal skill if it's in between 3.2k and 3.7k or 3.8k you're gonna be in the high skill bracket so it all depends on the average MMR of the game. That's what this number, This that's what this uh, thing means. Is it a good calculation? Probably not because like everything below 3.2K is normal skill. Everything above that is like, everything above 3.7 or 8 is like very high skill. So it's not a good indicator, but it's also a decent in indicator, especially even the high skill because that's where like most players who play this game for a long time fall in the category of the high skill bracket they just never really go above the 4k range because they just like they know the game but they don't understand the game right so that's what i mean by you know how to play the game but you don't truly understand how the game functions as like uh as like a chess way you know what i mean like you're playing a dota like dota in my opinion well this is getting a little bit off topic but dota in my opinion is not like sports in a way it is is esports is not like your typical like basketball right like if you're playing basketball yeah you know how to dribble you know how to shoot you know how to do the basics but you don't know how to analyze the game like how you analyze chess so when you play chess you don't just like you win the game not by moving your units your pawns and your uh, you know bishops as fast as you can you win the game by actually under analyzing and thinking about your next steps right that's what dota is a lot of people who are in the high skill bracket from like 3.2 to 3.7k they don't think about the game critically enough to understand how to like make their next move in the game they kind of just press buttons and hope for the best you know like they play shit like invoker they're like yo i'm so good at invoker but you're not good anyways that's about it for the video, boys. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if I have anything that I have not explained yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the Twitch. Check out the Patreon. Especially check out the Discord. Check out the anything and everything. Have a very, 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 very nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.